My name is Tufi Saliba and I'm here in Davos, Switzerland and uh, I'm here to meet a lot of global leaders, decision makers and make sure that they understand that AI can be the best thing that humanity ever built. What's the one thing that could uh, have some certain existential uh, threat, but at the same time, it could be the best opportunity that ever existed in the history of humanity. And why is it that every single entity in the world is racing to get to that one thing, whether it is the Chinese government or the US government, whether it is Microsoft or Google? What is that one thing? It's AGI. The common consensus on AGI is like you having this machine that is capable of doing better than any homo sapien on the planet today, including yourself. Imagine something a trillion times more intelligent than all humanity combined that is in control of a single entity. Most AI scientists would tell you it's likely to happen by 2028. Is that something to be very pessimistic about? And the answer is like, if there's no solution, of course, yes. But there are solutions and we bet we will get to the solutions if you work all of us together. We are doing something about it. I was invited by a lot of AI scientists two and a half years ago at the AGI Summit in California to run the thing that could become the Internet of AI, which we named it HyperCycle afterwards. HyperCycle, I have to use a metaphor. In uh, our brain, we have a lot of neurons. Uh, the neurons, the way they talk to each other, they use the synapses. The synapses, they don't check with any central brain when they communicate between the neurons and they communicate with a lot of fidelity. AI doesn't have that in the world until HyperCycle came to exist. I, I truly think acceleration is part of being responsible at this point because if you don't accelerate, you're going to hit the cliff and you're going to fall down or you're going to fall behind those that they are accelerating but they don't necessarily have the good intent that you do. If you control that thing, what you think is ethical is not necessarily what I think is ethical or what he thinks is ethical. We're actually creating something that has the capability to outlive us. It's like we make a baby, but we're making a baby, all of us homo sapiens. Do you want to slow down all the good ones so you let all the bad ones get to ASI? Perhaps not. Every single company, every single entity, every single decision maker around the world, if they were to be like, what's my takeaway from, from, from Davos? Whatever effort you're putting into AI, perhaps you want to double it. My dream scenario in 10 years' time is to enable everyone on the planet to partake in creating the internet of AI because I truly believe that can serve another goal. It has the highest probability to be the safest AI that could exist in the world that we create.